What's up guys and welcome back to the Little Scale Cars YouTube channel. Today in the review box we have a unique one, a Barago. This is the first time I've had a Barago 164th in the review box and this time it's the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this one and see if it is worth adding to your collection. So let's go ahead and get things started with our casting. So taking a look at our proportions, we can see that they look very, very good. This is clearly a Lamborghini Huracan. Now, the biggest concern with a lot of people is it truly 164th, since a lot of Barago's um, Ferrari offerings have not been truly 164th. I am glad to say that this one truly is. The biggest gripe I think a lot of people would have is that it does sit kind of high, those wheels, but that's just because it has a uh, suspension in it, and the... Uh, when it's actually sitting there, still it looks pretty fine. It doesn't look like it's sitting too high. So some cool things with this casting is that we do get mirrors on it, which is really nice. And then these doors, they do open as well, both sides. And they actually sit really flush, which is nice, because a lot of other moving parts brands, the, those moving parts don't usually sit very flush. These do, and they look really good. Majority of our car up through here is metal. When we come back to the base here, this diffuser and exhaust section is all going to be a piece of this base down here. But then up front, the splitter kind of cuts off right about here, and that is where the base stops and the metal begins. So overall, the casting is done really, really nicely. Moving into our paint and deco section. So there's not a lot to talk about here. We've got this really nice metallic-y uh, green paint job which looks really, really good, and it definitely is a good fit for a Huracan. And then the other thing that I make note of is that we do have a little Tricolore kind of flag going on down here, down the side, which looks really good and, again, fits with this car. Moving into our details. This is actually a kind of a surprise category, just with how nice they are. So we do have plastic inserts, and these plastic inserts even have some, like, paint on top of them to enhance that look similar to like something you'd get from mini gt which is wild we do get a lamborghini logo right up here which is really nice inside these like intakes here all the little grill pieces do have meshing on them which is really really cool and again uh not something i was really expecting coming down the sides here we do have these reflectors right here and it even says performante right here on the side which is really good these wheels um, do leave a little bit to be desired, if I'm being honest. Uh, coming into the back section, though, we will see that our engine is nicely detailed inside there. And our tail section is done nicely as well, with uh, our taillights being done, the, even the third little brake light up here being done. And then we do have Lamborghini, let's see if I can get that to focus, Lamborghini badge right there as well, which looks really, really nice. Opening the doors you can see that the interior is pretty nicely detailed. It's not like hugely like a mini GT or so, but it is definitely better than like a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox. Also, the rear wing here is plastic. I forgot to mention that in the uh, casting section, and that plastic allows it to be very thin and very accurate and proportionate and look really good. Moving into our roll test, we do have plastic wheels here, and they do roll very, very nicely. I went ahead and put this one on the scale, and it came out to be 36.85 grams. So despite the plastic wheels and the plastic base, we do have a lot of good weight to this model. Pros and con time, as always, getting started with our pros. So the level of detail for the price is almost unmatched on this one. So we talked about the headlights being something close to what Mini GT would give with the little plastic insert with the paint over top of them looking really, really good. The interior has got a lot of details as well. The exterior back here on the tail section, pretty nicely detailed. Overall, just very solid level of details for a $4 model. That is right, this car was $4, which is significantly cheaper than say like a Hot Wheels Premium. And I would say you're getting a similar level to a Hot Wheels Premium, if not better in some aspects, especially the headlights. The other big pro is that this is the best Huracan Porfamante in the 164th scale space. There's only two that I know of. The other is Atomica, and this one just has a little bit extra that the Atomica doesn't, like our mirrors and our rear wing being ever so slightly better. Moving into our cons, though, and there is definitely one which absolutely needs to be talked about, and that is the wheels. 
So these wheels are not good. They're very uh, Tomica-esque wheels. And um, that's just unfortunate. They just take away a little bit of the look of this car overall. That being said, though, Barago has noticed that, and they are fixing it. So this car is going to be re-released later on this year uh, in this exact same color again, and then as an orange as well. And it's going to have real riders and uh, better rims, I guess. Moving into some size comparisons, here we have it with some other Huracans you might have in your collection. With the Lamborghini Huracan STO from Mini GT and the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo from Hot Wheels. And here we have it with some other supercars you might have in your collection with the Ferrari 488 Spider from Tomica and the McLaren 650S from Kyosho. So with all of that out of the way, it is now time to give my overall score. The hype level was pretty good. I'm going to give it a 9.2 out of 10. I was pretty excited for this. The Tomica is the only other um, Huracan Performante that I have, and I've only had one. So now it was my chance to get a second one. The execution of this one is a 9.5 out of 10, especially factoring in that $4 price point. The wheels are the only gripe I have with it, and really, uh, I like them better than Tomica wheels, so it's not the worst. Community input. You guys voted on Instagram. This was the result. I'm going to say that's roughly a 7.6 out of 10, which I feel like is a little bit harsh. I think a lot of people were just voting um, because it was a Barago and they don't know the newer versions for Barago. But it is what it is. And those factoring together come out to be an 8.76, which we will round up to 8.8 .8 out of 10, which I feel like is a pretty good score for this model. This is absolutely a shockingly good release from Barago, which is a brand that is not well known in the 164th scale space, and especially not known for quality 164th scale. They're mostly known for like their race and play Ferraris, which are one, not truly 164th scale, and two, done on the very cheap end of things, which, yeah, just not the best work. So it's really nice to see them turning uh, a new leaf and kind of giving us something a lot nicer here. I mentioned that there's only two Huracan Performante castings out in the 164th scale space that I know of, at least, and this is definitely the better of the two for sure. And like I said, if you're someone who needs more than one version like myself, there is an orange one coming as well, so with even better wheels. So if this one is not really your cup of tea and you don't want to wheel swap it or anything, just wait for the newer ones to come out. They might be a little bit more expensive, I'm not sure. But I definitely highly recommend this one to any Lamborghini fan and to anyone who wants to add a Lamborghini Huracan Performante into their collections. This is definitely the best option for you at this time. And with that, guys, that is all I have for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and leave a comment telling me what your thoughts are on this particular model. And I will see you in the next video.